Hi everyone, I'm Mary with Mary Greeley News. Thank you for joining me. As you can see, it's snowing at Yellowstone. Recently, this morning, there was a 6.3 earthquake in uh, Mexico, Guatemala area that shook up the caldera there at Yellowstone. This here is a signature that came in afterwards at 442 Universal Time. It was 8 kilometers in depth, 4.7 miles in depth, and it was in the Madison River and Norris Junction area near Purple Mountain. Currently, all roads are closed until next year into the park. Um, here you can see the western entrance, Purple Mountain, and over here would be Yellowstone Lake. At 427 Universal Dime. There was a 6.3 off the coast, like I said, off the coast of Mexico and Guatemala. I would actually say it was closer to Guatemala, but here we got um, different areas of um, Mexico, right on the border almost. Now this is the borehole for Norris Junction. Um, the signature actually shows up better at Yellowstone Lake. I'll show you that to you in a moment. But here's as the earthquake came in at... Um, Norris Junction. You can see all the gases that it brought up. And at um, Yellowstone Lake it actually brought up a lot of heat. And this is the 1.5. Supposedly a 1.5. Here's the signature of the 1.5. And then afterwards there was another small one, another small one, and another small earthquake. Yeah, these earthquakes continued until about 4.44 Universal Time. The smaller ones weren't reported, but at 5.02, there was a 0 0.9, and at 5.03, a 0 0.6. These two were all in the same location, up there by Purple Mountain. All right, so here we have 5.02 through 5.03, and we'll look at the signature. There's two there, but they only reported one. And the one at 506, it really doesn't show up here. We do have one at 504 and 10 seconds. And yeah, it's a tiny little thing. We have another one right there. Um, 835. That one too is not being reported. You can see some slight heat that came up with the gases. And we actually have a thickening of the line of melt. There's actually two lines of melt here. And then later, um, this is when I pulled the files for the swarm program. All right, here we have the chart for Yellowstone Lake. Again, this is a borehole, just like the Madison River one. It is a very deep well under the ground, about 500 to 500 feet under the ground. Yeah, it looks like the earthquake down there by Guatemala, Mexico showed up pretty good here at Yellowstone Lake. Yeah, it really brought up a lot of heat. And then this here would be the 1.5 that occurred afterwards. I'll show you the signature. Um, we'll go back to this uh, 6.3. See that? Look how it stirred up the caldera. And yeah, look at that. This is what they consider, they call volcanic tremors or harmonic tremors and we'll come over to the earthquake oops there you go now Yellowstone Lake is very deep it's about 350 feet below the uh, um, surface of the water there um, it's got spreading just like down at the bottom of the ocean where they have uh, spreading of the ocean floor um, allowing for more uh, magma to come up. They haven't ever announced that there's magma coming up at the bottom of Yellowstone Lake, but they do have the spreading there, and I've talked about that and showed you the documentation. Prior to this, about 2 o'clock, we had several earthquakes that brought up some hot gases. See that there? Um, between 2 o'clock and 45 seconds, well, two or 1:59, actually, and it continued until about two o'clock, one minute after, and 40 seconds. 
I show you the signatures. Yeah, these are not being reported. This is the signature of the gases from the hot magma rising up from Yellowstone Lake. More recently, there was an earthquake at 1144 uh, in 25 seconds and 30 seconds. There's the signature. This too is not being reported. And yeah, lots of harmonic tremors going on. You can see that. Got another little one here. We'll take a look at the spectrogram. Yeah, look at that. Let's take a look at the spectrogram. And this is what it was showing when I pulled the files. Let's look at that there. Yeah, again, this is at 835, not reported. And I pulled the files going back uh, through Tuesday, um, 21 Universal Time. Here you can see 1120. This is all today. Yeah. Just shows you how earthquakes, large earthquakes that happen around the world, do affect Yellowstone. And create earthquakes there at Yellowstone. Um, there was a large earthquake, I forget when, um, they documented it, showing that large earthquakes up in Alaska have also caused earthquakes at Yellowstone National Park. All right, here we have the monitor at Madison River. Uh, lots of shaking going on. You can see lines in red. These are earthquakes that the uh, computer picked up that geologists need to come in and look at it later. This is uh, 433. Yeah, look at that. Look at how hot, how red that is. Now, the uh, redder the color, the more heat definite lines of gases that came up from this earthquake. Now they're only reporting the 1.5 at 444, actually at 442, and nothing before that. They got one at 142 in Manhattan, Montana. They had a, a series of them there. And a 0 0.5. Um, that was at 2159 that would have been Tuesday so let's pull this over a little bit now they also had an earthquake in, in, in Alaska at 433 I really doubt that this earthquake was caused by that more than likely it was caused by the uh, 6.3 and I'll show you the signature see how when it came in and we'll pull this over. Let's see what I'm gonna find the uh, uh what's one there. Okay, that's the one point five four forty two. Certain areas it shook up the caldera more than other areas because certain areas are a lot more active um, magma is closer to the surface trying to come through the surface uh, oops, in different areas if I can stay on the line than other areas I don't know if you can see how this really shook the cold air for quite a while let me go over here to the signature All right, we'll go to this one here. Um, 8.35, yep, gases, but mostly heat. That was probably caused by the 6.3 earthquake they had along the Aleutian Islands there in Russia, or part of Russia. And we'll go to this because, you know, we had a P wave. It was a P wave that came in first, and then it shook up the caldera. We'll look at the signature. See how it shook everything up. And then we got some more down here. Yeah. 
again this is the monitor for the Madison River area yeah look at that um, yeah 1636 none of this is being reported 1841 um, 1756 I got some harmonic tremors here see how choppy that is and look at that we got the screw wave yep yep volcanic earthquake yep 1842 look at the heat I find it hard to believe that would be caused by an earthquake there in Africa there's been quite a few earthquakes today um, most recently uh, Mongolia China yeah that's where they got um, um, the plague going on there was a 4.5 there today just recently 4.0 up there by the Arctic in Canada yeah there's been a lot of shaking um, but I don't think those are large enough to shake up um, Yellowstone 5.4 at 11:30. the last major earthquake globally that probably shook up the caldera was at 836 and that was the one in Russia so yeah probably that one there yeah this is probably an after effect of all these large earthquakes around the world yeah look at the gases coming up but this was the most significant right here the one in um, uh, Guatemala Mexico you know with the weakening of the earth magnetic field we're gonna have much larger earthquakes more earthquakes uh, volcanic eruptions that's been documented that happened in the past they did a lot of documentation there in Hawaii on the um, old magma fields there in Hawaii in uh, Germany and the UK they are admitting that earthquakes are on the increase since after some time uh, the 2000s earthquakes have tripled um, even though the US doesn't want to admit to them and the magnetic field does affect our weather uh, we don't have our shield to protect us from storms from the Sun and different radiation that comes from space so anyways that's all I have for you right now if you need thoughts or comments or questions put it down below thank you for your support I'm on patreon and also on PayPal. I appreciate all your support. Please stay safe, and I will talk to you later. God bless you. Bye.